Hello, my name is Dr. Goldsmith, and I have a PhD in biracial anthropology from the University of Stanford. And today, I'm going to teach you how to use the mathematical equation to a biracial stereotype. This is a very interesting subject with a very deep history in our society in the United States. All right. So let's get started. So I know what your first question is. You know, doctor, what does it mean to truly be biracial? Well, at the simplest form, biracial basically just means two races coming together to form a concoction, a mixture. But if you're more of a visual storyteller, um, so here I have about a fourth of water, okay? So then we're gonna take, well, it's, it's the juicy juices being a little bit, a little bit standoffish. So we're gonna take a fourth of water and then we're just gonna pour a fourth of juicy juice you can see there. And you see, this is basically what it means to be biracial in the simplest forms. Now that we know what biracial means on the simplest fundamental terms, where does this apply to our mathematical equation? Well, let me explain the equation to you in the simplest way I can. Now, a biracial slur starts with the word half. You take half of something, so a fraction of it, so one over two. You may sometimes see it as H and F. That's just an acronym we use in equation format. So if you see H and F, X plus two, that's what it means. Then you add it by the racial or ethnic stereotype. Now this can be ethnicity. This can be ethnicity. Some people say that's bi-ethnic. It doesn't matter. The equation still works. And you add those together and you get your biracial stereotype. Okay, so here comes the really fun part. Now that we know the fundamentals of being biracial, and then also the fundamentals of our equation, we're gonna take this and apply it to a real world setting. And I'll use myself as an example. I have a very special case in which I am half white, Caucasian, and half black, African American. Now, I'm a very special case because usually when you have a majority group and you're combining it with a minority group, Usually in this equation, you're mostly going to see the minority group stereotypes. Now, if you're also another special case in which your two minority groups come together, hence black, African-American, or Asian, any ethnic Asian, you can use each minority stereotypes. But again, we're going to stick to me. So today we're going to be using, huh, let's see, let's use the black people can't swim stereotype. Now, I myself can swim, but for, for, for the you know, the experiment, let's say I can't swim. Okay, so you can see here I have our equation laid out, uh, half H and F in some circumstances, plus a stereotype in this circumstance, black people can't swim, equals in a real world setting, oh, you're mixed. So you can only do half a breaststroke, right? All right, thank you for watching this video on Biracial Anthropology 101. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you learned something today about our culture and the microcosms that exist within. Um, and, you know, keep keep reaching for knowledge. You know, keep, keep going out there. Keep doing your thing. And, uh, you know, apply this equation. Yeah, yeah, apply this equation. Not, not to, not to um, you know, your, your mixed race friends. But, you know, to yourself alone in your bathroom. You know, learn. Laugh. Love. Bye now.